very Dizzy Crafter here with a very special unboxing. I managed to get myself one of the brand new Sizzix Switch Plus machines from Create and Craft and it also comes with a load of new goodies so I thought I really really want to share this with you, get it out of the box, share what we actually got and to show you the machine itself. So without further ado I'm going to open the box. So we've got the box open now. I actually placed this order before it was released in the UK. It got released in the UK on the 1st of February. I placed this order the Friday before that, which I'm not too sure the date now, to be honest. I think it was around about the 29th of January 2022, I think we're in now. Um, so I was really excited thinking we was going to get this prior to the release date. I thought they'd be shipped out quite quickly. Um, and although I did get this within dead on a week, I, got, I ordered it on the Friday and it re turned up the following Friday. Obviously it had been released, so other people have managed to get hold of it, but that doesn't matter because this actual deal became like the machine itself, but you actually got a £100 worth of goodies inside as well, which is obviously amazing because that makes the machine £140. Plus, um, I did join the Create and Craft group just so that I could actually get a 20, uh, 10% discount. If you join the group, you pay 20 quid for the year and then you'll get 10% off the following products. So I was saving more than I actually spent anyway with that £20 because obviously it was two, just shy of 240 So I saved £24 anyway, so really I gained £4 then they actually give you a £10 voucher as well so really it only cost me £10 but it didn't cost me anything really to be in the long run um, so it was well worth joining the Create and Craft um, club thing whatever it is that they do um, I've not really bought anything from them since becoming a crafter again I did used to back in the day but this is my very first order with them and like this, like I said, this machine came out on the 1st um, and I got it, the 1st was Wednesday, so I got it the 3rd. So I probably am one of the first in the UK to get it that's just a normal crafter, not somebody who works in the industry as such. So anyway, enough of me babbling on, as per usual, uh, let's get on with what's in the box. So the first thing I spy is this 12 by 48 inch cork roll. I've never actually used cork roll, so I'm going to be going on YouTube to see how we actually use this. And then we've got this 6 by 6 metal sheets, and they're actually adhesive backed as well, and these are all in gold. We've got a pack of 10 shrink plastics in A4 and these are in white or no clear they're in the transparent which is fabulous because you can actually stamp on these colour them up and then shrink them down you can make key rings you can make all kinds obviously you can make embellishments for your projects which is mainly what I do with the uh, shrink plastics anyway I absolutely love shrink plastic I think it, it is a really good understated um, product to have and then we've got the tool kit and this is uh, the Sizzix one. I have actually got the Tim Holtz one which is obviously still Sizzix anyway. Um, and this has got the brush, the pick, but I think this looks like a, a magnet maybe to get your dies. I haven't got that. Um, I'm trying to work out if it does say um, easily removed. Do, 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 do. No. Yeah, so it is an actual magnet to collect all your dyes, so that's fantastic, especially when you've got nails like mine, sometimes the dyes, when they're so small, it's very hard to get hold of. Um, the brush itself, like I say, I've got one, but the Tim Holtz version, um, but there's no harm in having seconds, and if I ever join a craft group, maybe I could have one in my bag um, to take with me, and then one at home anyway, so I'm not having to fish around for it and get a kit together when I do start crafting outside of my home so yeah so I'm really pleased with that and you also got the sponge um the sponge thing to use for when you're removing the dyes as well the next thing is these 10 sheets of felt and they're all in different colours you've got pinks lilacs 
uh, corals, more pink, greens, blues, purples, yellows, deeper greens. Uh, it's not something I've ever really used in my crafting, uh, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to try and use them in the future. So now I've got them, I've got that opportunity to do that. And then we've got this massive pad of 80 by 80 sheets of uh, cardstock and this you see there's 20 colours in here I'm not quite sure what the GSM is so have a look on the back yeah it's 216 GSM and it actually looks like there's some texture on it whether there's texture on every single page or not I have no idea but who doesn't want more cardstock when you make when you're a card maker or mini album maker it's definitely something that you do need and then I think the last thing in here is this gold sheet and it's the Offlink cardstock. Now I know I've bought this in the past and I know this on its own is £15 because I have bought it in the past and it's absolutely stunning. You've got lots of different golds. There's obviously a gold theme going on here with the uh, metal sheets and whatnot. So, so yeah, so I'm really, really happy to get those. So we'll just get these out of the way and then we'll go in to get the machine out. I took that out of the box just for now but whilst I did take this out of the box I actually missed one of these adhesive tape runners which I've never actually tried one of the Sizzix ones so I'm happy to give that a go and hopefully I really like it and maybe that could be one of my um, staples in my craft stash stuff. that out of the box I'm sorry my head's chopped off but the main feature is actually this so we're going to get this out of the box this is how it looks inside of the box itself so the first thing you've got are your cutting plates itself then we've got a platform A Then you've got your main platform for when you're using the finlets and embossing folders. And then we've got uh, some dies, we've got some flowers, some butterflies, uh, we've got some hexagon dies, which are nesting ones which are always coming handy. And then we've got this lattice die here, it's like a panel die. And then we've got a hearts 3D embossing folder. And then with the instruction manual. It also comes with a plug and adapter. So if you're not in the UK, you could take this away with you. But obviously, I am in the UK, so I will be using the three, three pronged thing. But I can always take this on holiday with me if we ever get a chance to go abroad with the COVID. And then we have the power pack. Packaging. We'll got all that off and we've actually got a film over it as well which I absolutely love because there's nothing worse than going a new machine and it's scratched so I've just got to find the end to where this begins. This is the actual machine. It isn't actually nowhere near as heavy as I thought it would be and it is quite easy. Oh, I've just realised some more paper padding, some more protective film here and here. definitely covered it very well with uh, the protective film so yes this is the machine you've got two handles here which is very easy to grab hold of even with my nails I really thought I'd struggle with that but I don't and then we've got the nice chrome edgings here um, and then you've got your two switches and then you've got this drop down where you're going to feed it through and there's actually another tray I'm not too sure if I'd be able to lift this with my nails to be honest no you can prise it open with this because I don't want to break my nail. <laughs> so there you are. So you've got a lip here and this can store your tools, your brush tools, stuff like that. It's things you're going to use a lot with the die cutting machine itself. 
so it's very very sleek um, I feel like I'm going to do a little demonstration on this and showing you how it works uh, so stay tuned I'm going to change the camera angles and stuff so that you can have a look yourselves upon opening these new plates they are actually a little bit different than the original big shot plates that I do actually have there's a slight chamfered at the end of each of the plates on both of the plates now I'm guessing this is to help it go in with a lot more ease I'll take some of the x gun dies and I'm just going to die cut a couple out um, and then we'll use the actual big dies which hence this is why this is a big difference from any other electric machine out there because they will do A4 um, and it will do the finlets and it will also do your big steel roll dies which that's why I mainly bought this because I do have the Gemini, I actually have a Gemini and a Gemini Junior Rose Gold but um, they don't do the big dies and I really love the big dies and I do have the rolling machine for the big dies but I have it so high up it's a bit of a pain because I've got to get somebody to get it down for me because uh, it's obviously so big and heavy so I'm hoping I can just sell that on to somebody who is in need of starting out just starting out so they may get a decent deal with that um, but I really want to do this and then maybe even get rid of my Gemini as well but keep my Gemini Junior because that's always handy for my foil press machine anyway that's enough of me rabbling I'm always rabbling in case you didn't realize and let's just get on with this so on this platform it tells you all the instructions that you need to use so for this particular platform you're going to be using the textures impressions texture fades uh, impresslets and A4 textures impressions um, and then you've got a different sandwich again if you're using what's it this one finlets which that's what we're going to be using today I'm not too sure about that because it doesn't actually say I don't know why there's three different things whether it's just different cards or not I don't I actually don't understand that at all and then for just the sandwich and one glass plate you're going to be using the 3D textures embossing folders which we do actually have one of those so I will do a bit of one of those as well and then you sometimes are going to need the Sizzix A step plate as well and again this is giving you so it's more framelets which actually that's what we're going to be using today isn't it because it's a framelet uh, and the finlet so you've got your grey base coat, your green base and your two cutting plates, your die and your cardstock you're going to be cutting and then to use with intricate dies I'm guessing this is some form of um, embossing mat um, I didn't come with one of those so maybe they'll bring that out in the future so but I think I have actually got an embossing mat from Sizzix that I may be able to use so we're just going to bob those two together and one of the cutting plates now I do tend to like to keep my cutting plates so I have one for cutting and one for uh, keeping clear and then when they, when they break because they always do break then that means that it will actually um, I can take that bottom one that's clear and clean and put that on and make that my cutting plate some people don't do it that way but that's the way I personally like to do it now this is actually saying to put the die on first then the cardstock um, I like to put my cardstock die my cardstock down first then my die so that I can see where the die is actually cutting because I don't this I don't know if that's going to be where I want it so in for this instance it wouldn't really matter but we're just that's the way I will always do it so that's the way I'm going to feed it through and hopefully it will work the same with this machine now I think it's just going to be like the Gemini it's really important to try and line your plates up it's nice and neat and then we press this one does it Wow, how quiet is that? If I put my Gemini on, it is so loud compared to that. So I'm impressed with that because I can't use 
my gym night if my son is in bed because his bedroom's above me and it's really loud so that went in smooth as a pie obviously it will it's brand new so obviously when the plates get warped which they will do um that may change i don't know but that's there's a lot of static this is normal don't be panicking over like oh my god my plate's got damaged this is why i'm saying i always have one plate clean and one plate that's going to be filled with these scratch marks and let's have a look at the it's because there's so much static on this i can't get it off <laughs> So there is the die. And it actually has marked the top of this one, which I've never experienced that before. So that's that's new to me. I've never it's always marked as in the rollers going, but it's never actually left an impression of the die I've been using. So that is um, definitely one that's new to me. So I'm going to try and use this embossing folder now and a top tip I was given is to wet your card slightly so I'm just using the Tin Holtz uh, sprayer and this just helps with giving it um, some movement and I'm just going to bob this inside there and I'm going to take the instructions and see what it says very very static like I say these plates so for an embossing folder 3d one we need the platform the embossing folder itself and then just one cutting plate and then we're just going to feed that through i wonder if this it, even with that it's very very quiet And just look at that detail there absolutely gorgeous really nice I even like the deboss section one of the other things i was curious over is if it will take the old-fashioned uh plates as such so we're going to give one of these a go so i've got a lot of my old big shot plates here so i'm going to take the actual plates um and we're not going to use this one because we're going to be using a big star and we're going to be using this one here which is a mini album one like i say we're going to take this one have my clear cutting pad have my clear cutting pad on the bottom and then i'm just going to put this piece of card over the top and then the cutting pad on the top of that and then we're going to feed this through and hopefully the sensors will get it just the fact that this is only a six inch one i'm not too sure but no it's taking it i mean how amazing is that that you can still use any plates because if you're like me i buy these plates or i used to um i buy them in bulk so that because they do break so easily the gemini ones i do struggle with so i don't really buy them as much but definitely impressed with that that it's actually cut and i can use all my old plates so when i sell my sizzix i may just even keep the cutting plates and give it a discounted price so so yes yeah, so i'm impressed with that there's one more thing i want to try because i was watching a lady on tiktok and she said it wasn't putting the creases in um in in the thing so anything that's got a crease in so like for your mini albums that it was cutting right through so i'm going to do a couple of thin couple of items like that and i'm actually going to stick with using these these plates as well because there's no sense in me ruining my new plates to begin with because the die will fit on here so for this one because we're using the finlets i'm going to be using the base plate but this is actually a magnetic base plate so hopefully that will help me with the nothing moving so let's just get rid of those for a second i'm just going to be using these from uh, simply made crafts just because they was out actually out so that's the one we're going to take and this has got a crease in it so let's give that a go so like i say that's going to stick as you can see out here at least 
that really sticks to there for me. And what I'm going to do is actually try it without a crease pad first. Um, I'm sure you need a crease pad, but let's try it without the crease pad and see what happens. I just love how, how quiet the actual machine is. Obviously all that crackling, that is actual normal. Um, so don't be worried about that. So I've not actually used a crease pad and I've still got the uh, lines here. So I can easily fold that up quite easily. So I will try it with a crease pad though. I've not used a crease pad for that long. I can't actually remember. Um, and I'm not actually going to use, do the whole thing. I'm just going to use this scrap piece of paper to be honest. So we're not wasting card stock. I'm going to bob this in. I'm not too sure if that's just to use that and not an actual plate. So like I say, I've not used the crease pad for so long. So let's give that a go. And yeah, this is definitely giving you the creases. It's not cut it though. So I'm not too sure if we have to have the crease pad and the plate. So let's try that. I'm just gonna again use this scrap piece of paper because I don't wanna be wasting loads of cardstock. Now see that's telling me it won't go in because it's too much so that means the crease pad is not going to work with this. Um, so I'm not too sure about that how it's going to work but like I say it did actually cut the finlets. Now the lady in question was using I think she was actually using um, a big die so I'm not too sure if I've got a big die but if I have I will actually put something up on TikTok uh, because I'm going to reference her video to see if I can help her out as well. But that's it for this haul guys. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed the in-depth um, I've done with this machine. If there's anything you want to see then feel free to uh, ask me. I'm more than happy to help you out with that. I may do a comparison to this and the Gemini uh, just as another little video but this video is going to be quite long anyway with the demos and the unboxing and everything but I did want to give everyone the opportunity to see what you've got in the box and also a demonstration on how it works so thanks again for watching guys and I shall see you in the next video bye